to the Jeremy Hill Show. This is a men's channel with men's content. If that is something that you enjoy watching, do me a favor, hit the like button and subscribe. Now let's get into it. Gentlemen, women today have failed to understand that the best way to please their man is to make sure that his stomach is always full and that his sack is always empty. Now what do I mean by this? Let's take a trip back in time. Remember your childhood days Remember when you used to go to your grandmother and she had food everywhere. She knew how to cook a variety of baked foods, a variety of fried foods, a variety of boiled foods, a variety of broad foods. Back then, your grandmother and the women of her generation understood that they had to be the culinary chefs of the family, even if they never went to culinary school. That is just a part of womanhood that is a part of motherhood. You can go to your grandmother's house and she can cook anything that you like. She knew how to bake, she knew how to cook fish, she knew how to do anything in the kitchen because the generation before your grandmother taught them. They taught them that if you want to be a woman, if you want to be a mother, then you must learn how to serve your man and serve your children and keep them fed. That was just a part of natural life in the black community. They even had a phrase that was comical, but yet it was factual. The things that black women used to say back then were, the quickest way to a man's heart was through his stomach, putting the emphasis on the ability to know how to cook for your man and your family. You see, back in the days of your grandmother's gentlemen, they were taught how to serve the men of their families. They was taught to clear the table. They were taught to set up the table. They was taught to place food on the table, how to clean up. See, why were they doing this for your grandmother? Why was they teaching your grandmother things like this? So that when they became wives, when they became mothers, that they would know how to serve the family because the family is more important than the individual. You can't have a woman who puts herself over the family. The family must come first. And this is what the older women, the traditional women of the days of old knew and understood back in those days. Women today fail learning how to cook. They think that if they can cook one thing a certain type of way that they are good cooks, that's not true. For example, I've met women that all they knew how to do was bake. Now, baked foods can be delicious. But that is the laziest way of cooking. Women tend to bake more than fry or boil or any other way because baking is just so simplistic. All you have to do is season the food, put it in the oven for a certain temperature for a certain amount of time, and then you go back to it, and then you pull it out, voila, you got a meal. But a man may not want to just have baked foods. He may want to have something fried, something broiled. Ladies, can you cook a steak? If so, do you know how to cook medium well, medium? Do you know how to do these things? If not, then you are failing as a woman. It doesn't matter if you can bake one thing a certain way. Women who don't know how to cook bake everything. They put chicken in there, they put pork chops in there, and it's some onion, black pepper, and salt, and that's it. And they think that you're supposed to be satisfied with that. Again, a woman should know how to keep a man belly full and his sack empty. The quickest way to a man's heart is through his stomach. That's what the older women used to say. Women, do you know how to make mac and cheese without using a box? Everything you know how to cook comes out of a can or a box and you put water in it, you stir it and boom, you got a meal. What happened to women who cared enough about the family that actually took the time to learn how to cook? Women today are only focused on convenience. And women complain about the fact that they may work hours. Our grandmothers, they work. A lot of times they wouldn't just stay at home moms. They work, they work eight hour shifts or whatever it may be, but then they will come home and do their duty. Being a woman, being a wife, being a mother is a duty. It's a, it's a skill set. You can't just come into a relationship and say, I am this title, I'm a mother, I'm a wife, and then don't expect the things that come along with that to be performed in the house. Now, I want you men to understand this. Gentlemen, you have heard of the words booty call, which is just when a, one, when a man calls up a woman to have sex, right? Women have changed it. It's called foodie calls. F-O-O-D-I-E, foodie. 
And what this means is a woman would go on a date with a man that she has no sexual interest in just to get a meal. She will go out with a man, have no intentions of building a relationship with this man, but she wants to take advantage of this man and have him buy food for her on an expensive date. Women call this technique finessing, for example. Now I'm gonna tell you some descriptions of what a foodie call is in print. And my sources are the Urban Dictionary and Psychology Today. Let's go to the Urban Dictionary of what a foodie call is. A foodie call is a person who goes out on dates with the sole purpose of getting a free dinner. These women are people who want handouts. They want freebies. These women are users and abusers. These women have no moral character. And these women are piss poor in their mind and their spirits and their soul. Avoid these women. These women don't know how to cook and don't care. Women are so trifling now that they will expect you to pay for children that, that don't belong to you. They'll bring a child on the first date, a kid that you gotta put in the baby seat and expect you to pay for that child's food and her food and your food. And here it is, this is the first date. You don't even know the kid. You barely know this woman. I even met a woman like that before who they would create horrible lies. They will say things like someone might have took advantage of their children to get sympathy from you and empathy from you to say, okay, then you can go ahead and bring your child with me. Some women say, I'll bring my child everywhere I go. So now you have to pay for this kid every time you're with the kid. You can't get no personal time with the woman because the kid is there. The kid got to be in another room if you're going to get it on with her in another room. It's crazy. Some women tell you these things that I got to bring my child with me everywhere I go just so you can pay for the child. Now, here's the thing. I've seen women like that who claim that, but then if you go to that social media page, you see them at the club. You can't bring a 12-year-old kid into the club. You can't bring a 6-year-old into the club. They're just telling you that because they want to take advantage of you. They're trying to make you into a simp. So this is what women do on foodie calls. They also expect a man to buy a meal for a child that's not even there that they have never even met sometimes. They'll tell you after they come off the date, can you buy something so I can take a doggy bag home, talk a doggy bag back home to my kids, man. Think about what I'm saying. Now, it's going to the psychology today um, definition of what a foodie call is. This will tell you the type of personalities that these people have that do foodie calls. Now, the first one, the first personality, is called the Machiavellianism. And it says, these people manipulate and deceive others for their own benefit. Again, women will manipulate you to go on a date with you to get you to pay for things, food, uh, rings, purses, anything, to deceive you, to make you think that you have an opportunity to be with them when in actuality you don't have no chance, in, a snowball chance at hell to be with them. The next personality um, is called, hope I say this right, psychopathy, psychopathy. And this personality said, these people lack empathy for the plight of others and feel no remorse for their own harmful actions. So in other words, you could be struggling financially she don't care. As long as you can put money up and buy this expensive meal, um, take me on an expensive day, um, perform this way with your money with me, I can care less about how it affects your pockets. I can care less about your financial situation. As long as you do what I want you to do. This is a mindset of a psychopath. Do you know any psychopath women? Modern women, black women in particular? And the other personality is narcissism. A narcissist have an inflated sense. Uh, sorry, a narcissist have an inflated sense of self-importance and entitlement. Furthermore, while they are socially adept, they have little interest in building deep relationships with others. See, a type of woman that takes advantages of a man is a narcissist, a psychopath, and a person that act like Machiavelli. And we ain't talking about Tupac. <laughs> we talking about a person that takes advantages of people just for their own benefit, they care nothing about you. So they do these foodie calls, get men together that they have no interest in, don't wanna sleep with nothing, just to take advantage of them. And again, back in the day, men used to say that a woman had two roles to play, and both of them roles were, she had to be in the bedroom or the kitchen. That's where, that was a woman's place. That was men used to say a woman's place was in the bedroom or in the kitchen. Now look how it correlates with what the older women used to say. They used to say that uh, a quickest way to a man's heart was through his stomach. See, 
black men and black women understood these things back then. But when the modern woman come, came along, those things just went out the window. Men still have the same appetites for sex and for food. Women just have an appetite for entitlement. They have an appetite of putting themselves first now. Now, again, a woman should be responsible for keeping a man's belly full and his sack empty. And we fit to get into that part of the conversation about sexual gratification. One second. Sometimes these things go out when I'm talking. I'm gonna give me a different cigar. Anyway, women are selfish when it comes to sex now. What do I mean? A woman will have a million and one sexual desires that they want you to perform. But if you tell them just one of your sexual desires that you never tried before, they'll shut it down because they'll say selfish things like, I don't share or I'm just not into that selfishness. But they will want you to experiment this way, experiment that way with them if you can just please them in some, in some kind of way. Now, women who are selfish, they are smart and they'll figure out a way of getting what they want sexually without you. What do I mean? They'll break up with you a temporary breakup when they think that they know they can come back to you. So during the time that they are separated from you, they'll go experiment sexually with other things. I'm talking about anywhere from gang bangs, threesomes, um, sleeping with the same gender. They'll do all this stuff that they want to do anyway while they're with you, get it in, out their system, then come back with you and won't let you experiment any kind of way. These are selfish women. Again, a woman is supposed to keep a man belly full and his sack empty. Now, if a woman knows that a man enjoys the fact that she goes down on him, he should not have to ask her. See, if a man is a good man, he's paying all the bills, he's doing what he's supposed to be, doing as a man, protection, providing, leadership, all these things, then it's your responsibility as a woman to serve him. He's not supposed to serve you. He's doing what he's supposed to do in his masculine energy. He's doing what he's supposed to do. So why do a man have to turn up and come to you and say, hey, babe, I want this done to me? You should already know your man well enough to know uh, he likes this, so let me go ahead and do it. And this is one of the reasons why men cheat, because you women are not doing your duty. You are not... Um, satisfying your man you know the man like this this way or like that a certain type of way you just too lazy to do it you're the one who's supposed to initiate it. you are the ones who's supposed to serve the man the man is doing this thing a woman is known to be a person who serves the man in a relationship i'm not talking about disrespecting the woman or beating the woman i'm talking about i'm against all that but a woman has lost today's modern day black women have lost their idea or their understanding of servitude in relationships towards their children towards the men and everyone else in the black community and then another thing with women you letting yourself go your shape you start to look like uh, you starting to get shaped like a bunch of a spoonful of mashed potatoes look like you shaped like a sack of laundry and a sack of garbage because you're not allowing yourself you're allowing yourself to eat too much you're allowing yourself not to exercise because you love to eat you need to always maintain your sexual um, your appeal, your sexual appeal for a man. Keep him turned on to the point where he only focuses on sleeping with you and have sex with you. As soon as you let yourself go, you let him go in the streets to do what it is the next woman is doing that's keeping herself fit and in shape or the woman who just is naturally in shape because she's younger and her metabolism hasn't slowed down yet to the point where she's middle aged and then she gets big a house like you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's about time for a new cigar. So again, a woman's position is the bedroom and the kitchen. You got to be a culinary chef in your house, ladies. I remember back in the time when grandmothers would sit outside on the front porch and shell peas. Take peas, put them here, and put the, um, the shell, the, the thing that the peas came in, put another bucket. Because they were dedicated. And women knew their place back then. Women now don't know their place. They think they know it. They think they're supposed to be the head of the household when they truly are not supposed to be. Well, if you've seen any value in this video, gentlemen, do me a favor, um, hit the like button and subscribe. And of course, I'm going to be making these uh, subscriptions where you can subscribe to only see uh, members only exclusive videos. I know that's going to take time to take off, but it's going to happen. Thank you for your time.